pursuant to Section 32, Subsection 8D, Paragraph A of the Presidential Elections Act, I declare Tony Tan Keng Yam as the candidate elected as the President of Singapore. Remember this. Do you know what Mr. Yam was referring to? In this video, we will learn about the structure and terminologies that make up a typical act of parliament to help us understand what Mr. Yam was referring to. Knowing how an act is designed will help us understand and navigate the legislation. To illustrate this, we will be using the Resource Sustainability Act 2019. This is the name of the act, also called the short title. The short title is a succinct description of the subject matter of the Act and includes the year of its enactment. Below this is the Act number. The Act number is assigned by the Secretary to the Cabinet. This number is assigned sequentially in a year and chronologically according to the date that the President assents to the Act after the Act is passed by Parliament. A bill passed by Parliament becomes law on the date the President assents to it, making the bill into the Act. This date is called the Date of Enactment. This is the Enactment Clause, which is required by the Singapore Constitution. An Act will also have a long title, which describes the purposes of the Act. The main body of an Act is usually divided into parts, and sometimes divisions within a part. Each part or division contains the substantive laws that deal with the specific subject matter of that Act. The first provision in the Act usually states when the Act comes into force. Another key provision is the interpretation provision, usually found at the beginning of the Act. This provision defines terms used in the Act. An act may also have schedules found at the end of an act. A schedule usually deals with technical or operational matters. Sections are the main provisions of an act. Each section starts with a section heading that summarizes the section. Each section is also numbered with a section number. A section can appear as a single sentence or contain multiple parts. When a number appears within brackets, it is called a subsection. When a lowercase letter appears within brackets, it is called a paragraph. When a small Roman numeral or an uppercase letter appears within brackets, it is called a subparagraph. Now let's find out which provision Mr. Yam was referring to. Pursuant to Section 32, Subsection 8D, Paragraph A of the Presidential Elections Act, I declare Tony Tan Keng Yam as the candidate elected as the President of Singapore. This is a PLUS project initiative brought to you by the Legislation Division of the Attorney General's Chambers.